These are the weirdest tattoos in NBA history. I don't think I've ever seen that. What is he doing? And we gotta start with Chris Anderson, who has, let's just say, a few tattoos. More than half his body is covered in tattoos. His nickname is Birdman. Birdman, Birdman. <laughs> because of how long his arms are and all of his high-flying dunks and blocks, that's why he had to get phoenix wings on his inner biceps. He even admitted that he cried like a little girl while getting it done. He also has Freebird tattooed on his neck. It's a reference to the song Freebird by Leonard Skinner, a song he listened to during his drug suspension. And on the back of his head, he has Give Me War tatted. You can always see this tattoo since he rocks his typical mohawk hairstyle. To add to his style, he doesn't wear earrings. Instead, he has stars tattooed on his ears. And on his stomach, he has the words honky tonk whatever that means and if for some reason you thought he didn't like country music he also got the word country tattooed on his right arm plus just in case you didn't like any of his tattoos he has two words for you that he got tatted on his knuckles but can you tell me who has the weirder knuckle tattoo birdman or jason williams because williams has white boy spelled out on his knuckles just in case he looks in the mirror and ever forgets he actually got wit e-boy on his knuckles but we get what he was trying to say unlike other nba players, White Chocolate admitted he doesn't really have a meaning behind his tattoos. He got a lot of them just because he liked them. That's why during his Nike tour in Asia, he had a dragon tattoo on his left arm and a panther on his right. He eventually covered up the black dragon to get another dragon. At least the second one looks a little better. But not every player wants to get tattoos on their knuckles. Some NBA players want tats that are banned by the NBA. Supreme took the world by storm, and players throughout the NBA took their Supreme covered accessories on the court. JR Smith immediately tried to rock the shooting sleeve on the court, and Smith thought his Supreme sleeve looked so cool that he decided to take it to another level. He got a tattoo of the Supreme logo on his right leg, and once the NBA found out what he did, they weren't happy. They let JR know that if he didn't cover up his tattoo, he would be fined every single game. JR was furious when he found this out, and he had to cover the logo with the leg sleeve and tape before every game. But that's not the only weird tattoo JR Smith has. He's a big fan of Transformers, so he has the symbols of the Autobots and Decepticons on his neck. Plus, he also has the word Swish inked in blue and yellow. It's only right that the guy who gets buckets and is nicknamed JR Swish gets this tattoo under his chin. Not many players or people have ink under their chin. I can't imagine how much this hurts. All of that, just to let people know you get buckets. Next up, we have Kenyon Martin. One of the most physical and hardest players in his generation got his girlfriend's lips permanently kissed as a tattoo under his right ear. I guess he didn't hear about the girlfriend curse. And although it wasn't her name, this was still a pretty bad tattoo to have of your ex-girlfriend. Once they broke up, he tried covering the tattoo as a crown, but it ended up just looking a whole lot worse. But Kenyon Martin isn't the only player to get lips tattooed on him, because so did Lamar Odom. He proposed to his then fiance Sabrina Parr, with his version of a wedding ring, a neck tattoo with the words baby doll underneath. And of course, the two wouldn't last much longer after that. But at least he learned his lesson about getting tattoos for his girls. Except he still got his ex-wife's initials, Khloe Kardashian, on his hand. At least he ended up getting it removed after the divorce. Maybe next time, he'll think before getting tattoos for his women. Now Kyrie Irving has a bunch of tattoos. He has ink on his right back near his shoulder of a Chinese dragon. The dragon symbolizes wisdom, health, and good luck. He also has a lock inside of a fortune circle on the back of his neck. But on his right hand, he has a tattoo that's a little different than everybody else's. On his right arm, he has a tattoo of angel wings, which symbolizes good luck. But how much luck does one guy need? He also has a friend's tattoo to top it all off. When asked about the tattoo, Irving said, One day, I sat through probably like a full season of episodes and fell in love with it. Just the way they handled all the relationships on the show. Kyrie even admitted that Joey's character inspired him to get the tattoo. And that one of his friends also has the same tattoo in the same place. We thought it would be a great tattoo because we both enjoy the show. I'm just surprised he doesn't have a tattoo of a flat earth you said the earth you believe the earth was flat <laughs> and right, so i gave you this and maybe like you can at work and for carmelo anthony he has a ton of ink just like Kyrie, he has tattoos that mean a lot to him. He has motivational quotes and words on his body, like who can i trust life is what you make it and no struggle no progress 
And did I forget to mention his Warner Bros tattoo? Carmelo got a tattoo with a WB in it. That stands for where he grew up, West Baltimore. But instead, it looks like the Warner Bros logo. His tattoo artist should have at least tried to warn him and maybe try changing the style up a little bit. But at least now, we got Kyrie and Melo rocking famous TV shows on their bodies. Maybe next time, Melo will get Bugs Bunny on his arm. Now, the guy up next may not have Bugs Bunny on his arm, but what he does have is way worse. Mike Scott is the emoji man. Yeah, that's right. Just like the emojis we use on our phones, on both of his arms and all over his body, Mike Scott has a ton of emojis and symbols that represent him and his life. When asked about his ink, Mike Scott said, the story behind it is, I just use a lot of emojis when I text. It's me, it's original. People are doing it now, but no one else had it before I started getting into it. I don't know, I guess I just started the trend. It's a trend I see now, but for sure no one had it when I started. You heard it here first, Mike Scott started the emoji trend. He has vivid color emoji tattoos on both of his arm sleeves and even has little emojis tattooed on his fingers. But some players go a little bigger than just some little emojis because one of the most underrated tattoo lovers in the NBA was Deshaun Stevenson. He had some pretty interesting tattoos, including a backward Pittsburgh Pirates logo in red and some fives with Abraham Lincoln on his neck. Many people believe these tattoos are references to the Bloods, a gang he was affiliated with. Deshaun said the reverse Pirates logo is for Barry Bonds, his favorite baseball player growing up. However, if we go back, Stevenson was just 11 years old when Bonds last played for Pittsburgh. He must have been a super fan when he was a kid. Or the P stands for Piru, as in Piru Street, the birthplace of the Bloods in Compton. And he also has the Abraham Lincoln tattoo. Lincoln is on the $5 bill. For the Bloods, one of the most common symbols is the number 5 because that's the same amount of letters in the word blood. Just in case it wasn't obvious enough, Stevenson got two number fives next to Lincoln's face because he wanted to make sure everyone knew it was Lincoln on his neck. But Stevenson is covered in tattoos and he made sure he never forgot his jersey number because he got the number two tattooed on his back along with his last name. I think he did it so he didn't have to wear his jersey anymore. He definitely got this tattoo early in his career because he wore the number two when he played for the Utah Jazz and Washington Wizards. However, when he played for the Orlando Magic, he wore the number nine, which is why when he put the two numbers together, he made history as the first player to ever wear 92 when he played for the Dallas Mavericks. Maybe he should have waited a few years to get this tattoo done, but he's not the only player to get a huge tattoo on their back because LeBron James did the same thing. When he was in high school, he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated with the title, The Chosen One. It stuck with LeBron his entire career. And shortly after he was given this nickname, LeBron went ahead and got it tattooed on his back. But just imagine if LeBron got this tattoo and he wasn't an all-time legend. Now for Andrea Kirilenko, he only has one tattoo. However, it's a special one. His one tattoo is giant, and it's of a warrior riding a dragon on his back. The wings go past his shoulders, and there's a ton of detail. And if you didn't recognize what it was, that's because it's actually the Dragon Rider Paladin that Andrea plays in World of Warcraft. He said he's a huge fan of the game and has been playing it for a long time. He once said that when he was playing in Russia, whenever he had two days off, he would spend 36 straight hours playing World of Warcraft and just ordering food whenever he was hungry. I wonder what level his paladin was. Talk about dedication. And for Derrick Rose, his tattoo combines his grandma and his special basketball abilities. He was nicknamed Pooh by his grandmother because his love for all things sweet as well as his yellowish skin as a kid. On his left shoulder, he got a tattoo of a wizard holding a basketball and a cane with the word Houdini above it. Derek played basketball like a wizard when he was younger, even having his friends compare him to Houdini the magician. Combining his nickname and Houdini to get the tattoo Houdini. Wilson Chandler may not have a Houdini tattoo, but he does have a lot of weird ones. On his left leg, he has a ton of cartoon characters, including Beavis and Butthead, Ren and Stimpy, and other popular cartoons he watched growing up. He also has tattoos of Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, Johnny Bravo, South Park, and Quagmire for some reason. He also has a pig on his right leg that looks kind of creepy. Chandler also has a tattoo that covers his entire back of Juggernaut the villain with the word unstoppable above it. He only got this tattoo because his tattoo artist said so, but it might be my favorite one. For Jason Terry, he got tattoos for the things he wanted. That's why he got the Larry O'Brien trophy tattooed on his arm 
but he got the tattoo before the Mavericks won it in 2011. Except he tried to do it again. He got a tattoo of the Boston Celtics on him when he joined the team, but it didn't work out for him this time, ever winning a championship with the Celtics. So I guess he's just stuck with the Celtics tattoo. Kyle Kuzma may not have a Celtics tattoo, but what he does have is a big snake that looks like it's hissing at you. Next to the snake is a gorilla banging its chest with the words humble beast underneath. The gorilla is meant to represent how Kyle's a humble person and a beast when he's on the court. The snake on the other hand is just random. But the best that he has is Kuz's secret stuff on his leg. I guess that explains how he made it to the NBA. But this was just about the weirdest tattoos in NBA history. What you really need to watch is 12 things you didn't know about John Morant.